I can, gang, gang. Hey, yeah, gang, gang. Yes I can, 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 oh yeah. All dog pull up in a white van, yeah. Hey, slide dog, you know you a hype man. Yes I can, 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 yes I can. Can't see all done as he run past. Coach Matt been serving up the good fast. Shake up his hand as I walk in the class. Turning my home phone and so on my past. Start up my warm up because I'm succeed. I get the thing done and I do the math deep. Grabbing these points and I'm making it right. I'm saying hello, I'm catching these flights. If nobody's happy, the class will be happy. And nobody making a friend. Okay, class, one more time. Kiss the colonel and raise your hand if you are sitting down. Yeah, just give me 20 on three. Come on, let's see who the best class is going to be. Hey, thank you for joining us on KYC News Channel 17 for episode number three. Appreciate you guys tuning in this week. Hope everyone is well with you and your family and hope you stay safe. I think we're turning that parabola maybe a little bit downward and things are looking up. A hey, uh, first, first order of business is I want to say uh, I got a couple requests to change our due date for our assignments. Instead of Friday at 6, let's go Sunday at six. So I'm going to give you a couple more days to put it off or to maybe get some help, but we're going to change the dates on uh, Google Classroom until Sunday at six, if that helps anybody. You're welcome. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Hey, on the news front today, we're going to start with the quote of the day, and it goes like this. Be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a harder battle. Anyone know who said it? Anyone? Anyone? Hey, Ray, what do you think? Yes. Good job, Ray. It's Plato. So it'd be nice to people because you never know what kind of battle they're facing. Hey, on the uh, other news front, I'm sure you guys heard that Carlsbad Unified School District has given you a choice of grades this semester in spring of 2020. We're going to have either credit, no credit, or a letter grade. Pretty big decision. But is it really? Since the UC system and the state system and the JC system said they're not going to look at GPAs, hmm, something to think about, people. Either way, let's finish the semester strong. Hey, another big news front. As of today, Monday, I believe our beaches are going to be open, people. Isn't that awesome? But please, practice social distancing. If you're sick, stay away. Keep six feet apart. Wear a mask if you have to, but you can surf. Looks like you can swim, a little jog on the beach, and of course, take your algebra stuff down there and do some home fun. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, all right. Hey, um, and our feel-good story this week is one you're going to like. Let's take a look at it right now. 7 p.m. has a new normal here in New York City. Every day brings a symphony of appreciation for essential workers, first responders, and healthcare professionals on the front line. With every clank of a pot, a doctor scrubs in for a 12-hour shift. With every bell rung, a store clerk restocks groceries. A prescription has been filled. An urgent package is delivered. A life has been saved. So please, keep making noise. Was that a great story? Do you see the warm fuzzies right here? That was outstanding. Something to think about this week, people, on your journey. Hey, uh, now we got to catch up on the weather. I don't know if you guys have seen this weather lately, but holy smoke, it's been fantastic. Let's go check the weather. Thank you, Og Dog. You're doing a great job today. Look at this weather, people. It is all around us. How thankful are we that we live in Southern California. I don't know if you guys noticed, but yesterday the weather was. Today the weather is. Tomorrow, the forecast is. The next 17 days, the weather is. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh my God. We just, got a, we just got an update, people. Hold on. What was this? Wait a minute. We have a 99.9% .9 chance of algebra. What's the chance of that happening? <laughs> Back to you at the desk. <laughs> Man, you gotta love that weather report today. It's gonna be fun to get to those beaches. Hey, uh, before we go any further, I'd like to thank our sponsor, 
sassy flakes, and toilet paper. Hey, let's go see what's going on at the sports desk today. I'm sure there's a lot going on. Thank you, Sir Hog Dog. Hey, uh, what I'm looking at here today, people, is a NBA playoff game from 2011. And in case you're interested, I will give you the San Antonio Spurs and nine points if you're interested in a little wager. Some of you will catch that later. Okay, you know, we don't have much sports right now, so we had to come up with something new in our family. So what we have today is called the Ace Race. If you don't know, my, my dog's name is Ace, and he is going to chase after something, and we're going to make a little wager. Let's go over to the door and find out. Called Ace Race. He's going to fly out the door, and we're going to see how long it takes him to get back and what's in his mouth. It could be a squirrel, a bunny. Yesterday, he brought in a small child. Ready, Ace? Ready? Go, go, Ace! <laughs> All right, thank you, Ace. That's fantastic. We'll let you know what he brings in a little bit later. Now, why we're here. We have some fantastic algebra news this week. Uh, please pay attention to your lesson. Again, if you have questions, just email. But please keep up on your work this week. And we only have, you know, a few more weeks to go. Let's go over to the algebra desk. Thank you, Sir Og Dog. You're doing a great job at the desk. Hey, in the world of Algebra 2 this week, I have some good news for you. Uh, all the Algebra 2 teachers, that's Mr. Miller, Miss Alfonso, and myself, decided to give you a break and to make sure we understand the properties of logs. Now, behind me, you will see there are seven properties, and I'm going to give you a chance to pause your screen and make sure you write those babies down. Because we're going to make sure we understand these this week, in detail because next week when we start solving log equations and solving exponential equations you need to make sure you understand the logs the properties of logs so today hopefully I mean this week should be a little bit easier uh, but you gotta make sure you understand them if you have any questions or concerns please contact your teacher and uh, go from there okay before we get started though take a look at this shirt tell me what it means first person to Text me with the answer. We'll get a brand new roll of toilet paper. Okay. <laughs> and it's not used, people. <laughs> oh, you slide dogs. Okay. Hey, I'm going to put the camera up here, and you're going to look at these properties of logs. I highly recommend you copy these down. And again, I think we last week we spent a lot of time on the first three. The last four, we didn't spend too much time on these during our lesson. But they're very important. In this last one, change of base formula. Uh, you'll need that if you do not have a graphing calculator. If you have a graphing calculator, you can just plug this in with a different base other than 10. And hopefully you know how to do that. Let me know or let your teacher know if you do not. But if you don't have a graphing calculator at home, you can just go log base x of a equals log a over log x and just put that in your calculator and we'll give you some examples today. So take a look at that, pause it, write it down, and we'll do some examples. Okay, let's do a couple of examples. <laughs> Is this going to be easy? That was easy. Hopefully you say that in a few minutes. Okay, example number one. Now, we're going to make these things a little more difficult than what we saw last week. So the first one, log base 5 of 1 over 125. I'll give you a second. You can pause it, figure it out. But in other words, what, what, are we ask, what we're asking is 5 raised to what power equals 1 over 125. Obviously, it has to be negative because we're flipping that baby over. We're not flipping it off. 5 to what power equals 1 over 125? Well, 5 to what power equals 125? I believe it's going to be what? Andrea, what do you think? Yeah, baby. Good job. Whoa, Andrea. Let's go negative 3. Very good, Andrea. Next one. 
log base 256 of 4. Again, 256 raised to what power equals 4? Huh. Since we're decreasing, it's probably going to be a fraction. A square root, cube root, fourth root. Let's figure it out. 256 raised to what power? Well, I don't think it's a square root. I don't think it's a cube root. But wait a minute. Could it possibly be a fourth root? What's the fourth root of 256? Elizabeth, what do you think? Good job. It is one fourth. So the fourth root of 256 is 4. Okay, last one for this part. Again, this is just evaluating. We'll get to the properties in a second. 1 half raised to what power equals 1 over 32? Hmm. 1 half raised to what power equals 32? Well, 2 to what power equals 32? Hmm. Taylor, what do you think? Well, Good job, Taylor. I think it's going to be a 5 because what is 2 to the 5th power? It is 32. So my answer here is going to be 5. Cha-ching! Bada ba bing Okay, let's move on to some examples. Some more, maybe perhaps some more difficult examples with properties. Did you have a light bulb moment? Here we go. 5 log base 2 of 3 plus log base 2 of 5. I know one thing, when that plus sign, I see a plus sign there, what's that tell me to do with these two numbers? Oh, I think it's going to be multiply. And what do you do with anything that's in the front here? You move to the power. So I have log base 2 of 3 to the fifth power. Plus tells me I'm going to multiply by 5. And I end up with log base 2. If I do some math in my head, I get 1,215. Cha-ching! Bada ba bit. Number 2. Log base 6 of 6 to the 5th power. Well, we know what the power, the properties tell me, what can, what can I do with that? Exponent, I can move it in front. What does log base 6 of 6 equal? My property tells me that's going to equal 1. So my answer is 5. Okay, number 6. I have 9 raised to the log base 9 of 17. Is that a del? That's a day. So what happens if I have my, my base is the same as my log base? Guess what, people? Eh. My answer is 17. So far, so good? That was easy. I hope so. Hey, last three examples, and then you're going to be on your own. Here we go. What is log base 3 of 1 equal? Now just to refresh your memory, 3 raised to what power will equal my answer, which is 1? Hmm. Think of your properties. Bella, what do you think? Yes. Ready to go, Bella. Only thing I know that's going to give me a 1 is going to be a 0. So 3 to the 0 power is equal to 1. Booyah. How about log base 5 of 6? This is a tough one. And we notice we have a log base 5. My calculator is a log base 10. So what do we have to do? Let's change that base. So if you recall back to our properties, this is the same thing as log 6 over log 5. And if I have nothing there, that means it's got to be a base 10. So just plug on your calculator, push log button, push 6, divided by log button, push 5. And I have this memorized in the top of my head. It is 
1133. Cha ching, bada ba bang. Okay, I'll let you guys figure out this one. Log base 17 of 2. Put that in your calculator, see what you get. That was easy. It sure was. Just go change the base formula. Log base 10 of 2 over log base 10 of 70. And if we do that, I have this memorized. 0.2447. Congratulations, Yixters. We just reviewed our properties of logarithms. You're going to have a little quiz review, and you're going to have a little assignment if you're in my class. And please don't copy a neighbor. Teach someone how to fish. Make sure you understand all the properties, because next week we're going to crank it up a notch when we're solving logarithmic equations. Anyone know what the shirt means? I ate some pie. <laughs> and it was delicious. Okay, people, make it a great week out there. Keep a growth mindset and do the best you can. If you have any problems, see me in office hours or email me anytime. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Let's put it back to the desk at Sir Og Dog. Make it a yes I can week. Thank you, Sir Og Dog, for that great algebra lesson. Now, the number five question of the, of the week, you're going to have to rearrange two of those lines, people, so the dog, and by the way, that looks like ace to me, the dog is facing the opposite direction, and its tail must continue to rise up. Got it? Okay, good. Now, in conclusion, I want you to stay healthy, stay safe. If you do go to the beach today, make sure you keep that social distancing. Uh, work on your algebra this week, as well as some other topics, and make it a yes I can day, Carlsbad.